The story and images in this video may disturb some viewers. You could easily be tricked, you're looking at a real spider. But what it actually is, is just the skin of a spider. The spider has moved on and grown much larger and has shed this skin in the process. This very clever clone is set up next to the Y key for a very good reason. And if I look at my computer, I found a very interesting copy of my big spider video up on the Yahoo video networks. And I think it might be well worth my time telling you the stories and troubles that I have with this video and the stubbornness that some networks have in removing it. I was told about this video within a few days of it being uploaded onto Yahoo Networks and in a very short time it's gathered a lot of views. It's actually pulling far more views on this network than it is on YouTube. I certainly think I'm within my rights to raise alarm bells about my own video being ripped on other networks and I want this to be a story to any of you who are attempting to do big viral videos because I tell you what, it's going to scare many of you off trying to pull this off. And yes, there's advertising all through these videos as well. Thanks Mr. Yahoo, I wonder where the money's going to all this advertising. It's certainly becoming apparent to me for many video websites on the internet that the only way they can survive is by using stolen content. And what's a bit sinister about this upload is that they've changed the duration of the video. They repeat the final scene in this video. Now I sort of know why this has been done, but I'm not going to elaborate to the exact reasons why, because I don't want to educate you into why people change the length of videos. I certainly don't know this Nestle product that seems to be wrapped around this video. It must be a USA item. I don't think I've seen it in the country where I reside. Well, you know, sometimes I need a reminder. Is that my video? Did I actually produce it? Is that my face that you see in the spider video? You know, I doubt it because there are people who will argue directly to me. They're saying, but that video was given to me by somebody else from this other website and they said it was their video and you get these amazing stories. You also get people who come in and say, oh, but I've, I've edited, I changed it, I, I put the, the end bit at the front and I slowed that up and I added blood and I put a gunshot in there. But none of these people, not one, not a single one, ever came and asked me permission to use the video. And this has been one of the hallmarks of what's going on on the World Wide Web and I call it the Wild Wild West because it's like a bunch of gunslingers out there who've got no respect for anybody else. But some people say, hey, that's the nature of the internet, that's the nature of YouTube, it's just rip, tear and bust, find something good and make it your own. Well, I'm an old fashioned sort of person, I don't actually see it like that. This Yahoo rip actually doesn't reside on the YouTube network, so Google and YouTube have got no power play in this. But I've done my best to try and keep the spider solely on YouTube, and they may not understand how important that is. And let me explain, but a really, really big viral video, a video that just gets passed around like that, and it's massively big, is really important to have on your video site. And that's why so many video sites come in and say, well, I want that spider because we want to attract people to our site because we want our advertising to work. We don't want people to go to other sites. Now, in that argument, can Google help me here? I need to, I need to find out who the people are who are putting these videos up. I need names and I'm going to drill down. And I'm pretty sure the YouTube audience are very good at telling me what's going on here. I have lots of people on YouTube saying to me, hey, Leah, we see your videos up on these other sites. And that gives me the power to go in and have them taken down. That is, if they listen to me. As it stands, Yahoo ain't listening. I was told about this video very early on in the piece by a very good friend that I've got in the United States. And we often work together, um, helping each other become more popular. Now, this person uh, said to me it was a major featured video on this Yahoo site. And you know, we watched the figures and the views just started to skyrocket rapidly. In fact, it was a far more powerful video on that Yahoo site than it is on YouTube. I think it's really important to understand the way professional media companies deal with me versus the riffraff. And let's give an example. MTV came along and purchased the video and there was all sorts of paperwork and stuff to be done um, to get the video up, on, up onto their show. But they bought it for a price, it's a done deal, and then they can use it to whatever they want. 
Now, that's the way it's done. So many people do not understand the very simplistic way to buy a license to a video. They just think, we're just going to rip, tear and bust. Um, there's been other people who've grabbed the video along the way. Uh, I think the very first people to, to grab it was the Jay Leno show, very early on in the piece. And they used it as a little bit of a funny skit. But um, once again, all these professional media companies, they are polite. Quite often, this is the, what separates these people from the riffraff, the, the wild, wild west. And it's funny, people think, well, I can rip something and I can go and hide and no one's going to find it. But I'll tell you what, it'll be found. There's no hiding stuff anywhere on the internet. I should also tell you another little way that people want to craft and manipulate me and grab the spider. And they might steal it initially, and then I go in and I hit them up with a, a takedown notice. And then they come back at me, and this is where these people want to break, there's a bit of a hint there, break all the rules. And they come back at me and they say, hey Leo, we'll, oh, we'll give you a hundred bucks so we can keep it up on our site. Um, that's not how it's done. Um, why don't you contact me first? and then possibly do a deal. Uh, I don't understand this whole thing of, I'm gonna go and steal your car, and then we're gonna negotiate, I will share it um, later on down the track. It doesn't work like that, I'm sorry. Let's examine the efforts of concealment of this upload. Notably, it's been cropped. I can only imagine this has been done to hide my watermark. And some advice from me would be to watermark everything that you put up online, unless you wanna give it away to someone else. Also, the end title has been removed, yet the duration is longer than the 1 minute and 8 seconds of my original upload because there has been a change of the edit in the video which resides on the Yahoo networks. This video is by far one of the most nasty and elaborate changes of one of my original videos, and it demonstrates to all of us the lengths that some go to to conceal the owner of a video. And for anybody who knows me on the YouTube networks, you'll know that I'm not a vlogger. I don't do vlogs, but every now and then I've got to come in and do one because this is a very serious subject. And also I want to give you a bit of an insight into what goes on with these big videos. And a lot of you would be fairly naive to what goes on in the way they get manipulated and stolen. I'm going to use the word stolen by other video networks. And the funny thing, like with the Yahoo case here, the very interesting part is the delays. For a week now, I've been trying to have this video taken down, and all they do is they spit me back an email saying, well, Leo, the links that you send us are not correct. Even though I detail them to, to them exactly where to find both videos. So I've got to do all the things that they ask us about, a, uh, six to eight point things that you've got to do to have a takedown notice served. But uh, no, they, they can't find anything. It seems to be, I think it's a robot, which is talking back to me, a dumb, very dumb robot, but that seems to be what happens with a lot of DMCA claims, these stupid bots, or the other thing they do is they just ignore you. And that's the best way to solve this is, hey, we'll just ignore him. He'll go away, won't he? Ha <laughs> ha. Well, no, he won't. Not on this one. This one, we're going to hammer it until the video is down. And it's going to be interesting to see how long this takes. So what's your thoughts here? Is this a topic that all of you would know about? Am I being too precious here? Do I just produce stuff and literally hand it out for the wild, wild west to have a gunsling on? Uh, it seems to be, <laughs> seems to be many people say, "Oh, you make these viral videos so everyone can have fun with them." Um, well, I'll tell you what. If that's the case, I won't be making any more. So somewhere along the way, over there, Mr. Yahoo, someone's made some money. It's been Nestle advertising wrapped all around the spider. So what we're going to do is we're going to have, when we get to the end of this, some money sent to my very good friend, Beanmeister22. He deals with all the income that comes in from the spider video when it gets sold to networks. And it'll go off to an appropriate charity. So Mr. Yahoo, the onus is on you to start owning up. Yahoo, Mr. Yahoo, that's my face. I'm the Spider-Man! So, it's the peak advertising period, isn't it? Why would we want to take anything down when it's peak advertising? There's money to be made! The money's raining down on us! So, what are we going to do about it? I'm pretty sure this has to be resolved, and it's up to you to start listening to my complaints. 
about my upload on your video network. Well, Mr. Yahoo, the ball is certainly in your court to act on this. Once there's a resolution and compensation, I will put the information down in the more info area of this video, and I'll certainly broadcast this video out again and let my audience know. Well, it's been nice seeing that you got interested in this video, but next time possibly just grab an embed of it from YouTube, and not a rip from somebody who doesn't actually own the video. And please, give me information of who sold you this video, if it was sold to you. I'd love to know. Please leave a comment if you know anything about the Yahoo Video Network or have had trouble with your content on their site. You may want to check to see if your videos have been ripped and uploaded there. Thanks for your time.